Adolf Hitler and uniforms. Have you ever seen him dressed in something else? Well, you have now, in this movie, filmed by his mistress Eva Braun at his favorite residence, the Berghof in the Obersalzburg. In private, Hitler would often wear civilian clothing, like a suit. But in public, he usually wore a uniform. Adolf Hitler enlisted as a private in the Bavarian army on the offset of World War I and served with the 16th Bavarian Infantry Regiment in France and Belgium for the entire war. He was promoted to Lance Corporal and was assigned as a regimental message runner. The uniform of 1914 was pretty much the same as the German army had been using for decades, but with one exception. In 1910 the color was changed from blue to field gray. As the First World War dragged on, simplifications had to be made in order to produce sufficient amount of uniforms for the armies in the field, based on the scarcer and scarcer resources the Germans had available. There doesn't exist any color photos of Hitler from World War I, but these pictures from the World War I Museum in Kansas City shows us how colors of his uniforms looked. The same can this uniform currently at display in the Swedish Army Museum. After the war, Hitler eventually joined the German Workers' Party which he soon turned into the National Socialist German Workers' Party, or NSDAP. The party had no official uniform in the 1920s, with the exception of the SA, who had their famous brown uniforms consisting of a brown shirt or jacket, a black belt, and brown pants. In this period, Hitler usually wore brown at party events. Sometimes he would dress up in full SA uniform. He would also sometimes dress up in a brown shirt and the traditional Bavarian lederhosen. In 1930, the Nazi party adopted a uniform inspired by the SA, a brown shirt or jacket, along with brown trousers, and various insignias. Shoulder boards and collar rank insignias was added to the uniform in 1932. After Hitler came to power in 1933, the Nazi party was reorganized, and with it, the uniform. The insignias and shoulder boards were changed and new armbands was introduced. Hitler however, was not very particular about his party uniform. He never used the insignias, even though he was the party Führer. He usually wore a brown jacket over a white shirt, sometimes with a belt over the jacket, and a pair of brown trousers. The jacket would usually be single-breasted, but he would occasionally also wear double-breasted. Both the Nazi party and the SS also had a summer uniform that could be used between April and October. The summer uniform consisted of a jacket, single or double-breasted, with white or black pants. Hitler would still on occasion use his old SA uniform. On the annual commemoration of the Beer Hall coup attempt on November 9. The SA and SS Day And not least during the blood flag consecration ceremony at the Nazi party's annual convent. As soon as the Second World War broke out, Hitler started to wear a field gray uniform. Already on the first day of the war, September 1, 1939, in his famous speech to the Reichstag, announcing that the invasion of Poland had started, he had changed to the colors of the Wehrmacht, which he would continue to wear until his death in the bunker in April 1945. Hitler would wear different uniforms, with or without belt, and as before alternate between double-breasted jackets, as he usually wore. And single-breasted as we can see him wear here. Hitler would wear this both in public and in private. As far as we know there are no pictures or videos of Hitler wearing anything else throughout the war years. Even in his mistress Eva Braun's home movies, he is only seen wearing uniform. Hitler also wore his Wehrmacht uniform and he married Eva Braun in the bunker on the 29th of April and when he committed suicide the next day.